there and welcome to another edition of a Did You Know Doctor Who, or what you may or may not have known about Doctor Who. This time we're going to be having a look at the seventh Doctor story, one that is very confusing to many, but still beloved, Ghostlight. I hope you enjoy. Despite being the third to last serial of Doctor Who, it was in fact the last Doctor Who story to be filmed in the classic era. The story's confusing nature was intentional, as the writer wanted the story to be whatever the fans thought it was. In fact, the story is heavily analysed by several authors and was part of the Black Archive series of Doctor Who analysis. Original titles for the serial were The Beastery and Life Cycle. The German title was called The House of a Thousand Horrors. The story is a reused script from a cancelled serial called Lungborough, which would have been set on Gallifrey and been at the Doctor's childhood home, where he would have been confronted in the past. This idea was scrapped as it would reveal too much about the Doctor's backstory, so it was changed to be being about Ace. Mark Platt was one of two writers in Doctor Who's history that had no professional background in writing, other than fanfiction. The story is a parable about the topic of science versus religion. It is also about the progress against any kind of technological view of the universe, as demonstrated by creationism and the misapplication of scientific theory. There is a reference to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when the Seventh Doctor says the line, Who was it said that Earthmen never invite their ancestors round to dinner? What's interesting is that Douglas Adams, the author, wrote for the series and helped with this serial. Believe it or not, this is Sylvester McCoy's favourite story. It is also script editor Andrew Cartmel's favourite story as well. Originally, Light would have walked through the Doctor, but due to the cost of such an effect, this never came to be. Light was initially silent and had angel wings. The ending line was meant to be, that's my girl, but McCoy ad-libbed it to being wicked. Funnily enough, when reading the script, many of the cast had no idea what was going on, and even jokingly asked Mark Platt if he had been taking drugs. The final scene filmed, and in fact the final scene filmed for the classic era of Doctor Who, was when Light turned Mrs. Pritchard and Gwen to stone. And that is it for today, I hope you enjoyed. Ghost Light is certainly one of the more interesting serials and is certainly one of the more visually beautiful stories of Doctor Who. It's definitely a confusing piece, but it's one that you just can't help but love. It's sort of like the sonic heroes of Doctor Who. It's something that has a lot of flaws, but you just can't help but love it. And it is definitely a great Seventh Doctor story. It's certainly really interesting the idea that this is in fact the last story of the classic era to be filmed, but it's not even the last one to be shown. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.